Hi guys, welcome to Vesna TV. It's Vesna here. For today's video, I'm making some farmhouse Christmas stockings. As with most of my DIYs, these stockings are very inexpensive to make and you only need a few things. You need this fur, the little craft fabric from the Dollar Tree, and some stockings. These are the ones that I had on hand uh, from a few years ago. Although they're cute, they're... Um, I thought they could look better so what I originally was going to do was remove these um, designs on them but they were ripping apart anyway and kind of coming undone so I thought you know what I'll just leave them on there in case ever I decide to take the fabric off and want to use it for want to use these for something else at least they'll be intact under there and I can just cut them out. Um, I have five of these stockings I it's for our family including the cat so I'm going to be wrapping them basically in the buffalo check fabric and then I'm going to be adding um, our names on it on them so when I wrap these I'm not actually wrapping them all around I'm cutting two sides to them so I'm gonna put my fabric down and I'm gonna flip over the stocking and first do the front of the stocking. So I'm going to flip it over, cut around it, and then um, hot glue it, and then I'll do the same for the next one. Now, I wind up leaving, with the rest of them, I wind up leaving a little bit extra around so that I can wrap it right into the, the back and then just put a strip at the back. You'll see what I mean. Also to save on the fabric, I'm going to be, I move it up, move the stocking up a little bit so that way, because I'm going to be putting the fur there so I don't need that to be covered either um, because the fur will cover it. Once I have, have it cut, then I go ahead and I hot glue it to my stocking. Another really easy DIY or craft. Um, I love using the hot glue because it's anyone can use it and it's fairly inexpensive to use. You can even get hot glue guns at the Dollar Tree for a dollar I saw. So very inexpensive. Anyone can do it and it takes no time. Just be careful when you're gluing it so you don't burn yourself. Use a tool to push down in spots where you can't cover it with the fabric so that way you're not burning yourself too much. I still wind up burning a little bit but it's okay. So I do the same for the back. I measure out what I need and I cut a little bit smaller and um, that way I have my stocking finished. Now originally I, was, I wasn't going to do the back, I was just going to do the front, but then I was worried if they were hanging and sometimes they kind of twist and turn that you're going to see the bare back and which would have been okay if I went right to the seam and didn't overlap, but I was worried if I went right to the seam the finish wouldn't look sharp so um, I wound up wrapping the back as well. I had enough fabric. Basically, I got two stockings out of each piece of fabric with a little bit left over. So if you needed a patch or whatever, um, you would have, have a leftover. So I needed um, basically three um, rolls of fabric with having, you know, but half of one left over. And so I repeat these steps for all four of them. I'm not going to show myself making all four of them. It's exactly the same for each one. Um, I figured if you saw two of them, then you would know what I mean. And then I will show you what I did next with the fur. Um, I didn't want this video to be, you know, 40 minutes long of me doing the same thing over and over again. So I wanted to save you guys a bit of time. Just before I show you how I did the fur, I want to show you how I did the back as well. Um, so I just put my fabric that was left over on the back and then I cut out um, what I needed and then I just hot glued it to the bottom. Um, and that's it. Really, really simple. There it is before I added the fur. Um, and if you chose to do a different fabric, like if you wanted to do it white or something and leave those colorful bands, like those were pretty 
nice bands over top, but I wanted to do this fur. So I'm in Canada. This fur came from Dollarama. Um, Dollarama is kind of like a dollar and more dollar store. So the roll of fur was $3, but I had enough to wrap all five um, stockings with fur left over. So it's quite a bit of fur that came in that roll. I'm not sure. I know the Dollar Tree in the States has nicer stuff and more, a more variety of stuff. So you guys might have this for there. Maybe we've had it at our, our Dollar Tree as well. I've never seen it. Um, even to find this fur, it was really luck of the draw. I happened to find it. It was shoved. I think somebody hid it. And I was looking. My friend had bought some. And she told me which section. So I was looking, looking. And then I kind of bent down to see, okay, what's this? And it was kind of in the back, shoved behind some yarn. So I think somebody might have hid it for them to come back later. And I bought it. Oops. So I just hot glue around and um, hot glue the fur down. And then what I do is I hot glue this little part kind of, I move the fur away so that way I can kind of fluff it and put it together. This fur does shed quite a bit. So um, just keep that in mind if you're doing it somewhere where you don't want to have fur all over the place. But here they are all completed with the fur very very cute i really really like them um i've seen these for sale they're not too expensive but they're about 15 dollars a piece so these were you know under two dollars each then i go ahead and i use my cricut to cut our names with the iron on uh make sure you so i didn't do that here make sure you hit the mirror button i actually did but it was two pieces of vinyl and the second one for some reason my computer went into sleep mode in the middle of a cut i don't understand why it would do that but it didn't then when i went back it flipped it to not mirroring so make sure whenever you're doing iron on that you do mirroring so the mom was okay it was just the dad that i had to redo because the other ones were on the other piece of vinyl so here it is all weeded out and I'm using my heat press to basically iron them on and I'm doing them on the boot part, the little like the foot part of the boot and I'm just angling it. I'm doing the cat first just in case I um, don't like the way it looks. I know that sounds bad but I'm doing his first because he won't notice, the kiddos will notice. So. Um, I do this for all of us. I angle it. I did angle the cat a little bit too much, but it still worked out great. When you're pressing down with the heat press, you want to make sure that you push. You're not moving. You're just pushing down evenly. You can set your timer. You just look at the instructions for your vinyl, what you're supposed to set it to. So I have it at 180 degrees for 15 seconds, roughly. And this is a uh, hot, like you remove it hot, not cool. Um, so I can see here that I needed to do a little bit longer. So I wound up going back and doing that a little bit longer. And so depending on your fabrics and your vinyl, you might have to do it for longer or shorter. Um, I don't know what this brand name of vinyl is. I just got whichever one was the cheapest on Amazon. I know that there are some that are better than others, but this was my, you know, one of my first vinyls that I bought. So I didn't want to spend too, too much on it just in case. But then I do this for all of the names. I just heat press our names on them and that's it. Now before I show you them all displayed, I just quickly want to tell you guys a little bit about myself and a little bit about this video. So my name is Vesna and if you haven't been to my channel, on my channel I do Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips and trash to treasures, um, all sorts of home decor DIYs. Basically on a budget is what I do on my channel. So if that's the kind of stuff you like, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of all new videos I post. Now this video is a part of a challenge hosted by Domestic Diva DIY. Um, 
what we had to do was create some stockings so that's what I'm doing if you haven't checked out Sonia's channel make sure you check it out she has some amazing DIYs on there and she's been around for a while so make sure you check her out she's got lots and lots of inspirations I will have all of her information linked in my description below as well I'm going to have the playlist so make sure you check that out too maybe you can um, find some great stocking ideas myself included I might decide after watching these videos that for next year I want to do something different so always check it out we're all always learning so make sure you check out all these videos so here they are hanging on my fireplace I'm really happy with the way they turned out the black doesn't stand out too much with the names you can see it but it's not in your face which is great um, I may change that down the road I might peel it off if it comes off if not I might put something else on if I decide I don't like it but for right now I'm really happy with them they're cute my little guys love them and that's all that matters thank you so much for stopping by make sure you leave me a comment let me know what you guys do for stockings do you have them all matched do you have different ones what do you guys do leave me a comment below subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can see every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have an excellent day and make sure you stay safe.